action right there. I know you can't see it up, up close, like we got a super like you know really quality camera. You can't see yeah. Maybe I'll yeah. zoom up a little bit. Give him a give him a side shot. <sighs> Mm, yeah. It's only like two days of growing mm. up my beard. I like the way it feels. Do you like the way it feels you, when you rub it? I like the way. Yeah, I, right I like the way it feels. I'm not there yet, but like I'm like that that peach fuzz, you know. If I did mine right now, it'd be it'd be out here. <laughs> oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen welcome to another episode, episode of, of the Side, Side Project, Project Podcast. Podcast. Trying to get it right. No, I think it's just the distance we were from the actual mic. So, uh, check. I did do a couple different things. I added some new compression. Uh, oh, that's probably what Audio engineers like. know what's up. And uh, did some different things. So it sounds a little better, right? You can be a little bit louder. Uh, uh, and it doesn't peak as much, you know? Cool. Uh, you're up to date on The Mandalorian, right? I'm always up to date on The Mandalorian. Always up to date on The Mando. That's the... Uh, which, hold on. By the way. Dude, okay, the other night, if anybody follows me on Instagram, at IG Hayes Chazzy, mm, um, you'll know that the other night, I went on an, I went down an entire rabbit hole of the Mandalorian theme song. You guys know the Mandalorian theme yeah. song, right? Yeah. Um, I wish I could do more. I wish I, I, I need to hear it one time, mm -hmm. and then I could mm, beatbox my way into it. Mm, wait, who, who was it? Biz Marquis that beatbo beatboxes like crazy? Is it Biz Marquis? Uh, no, yeah. Oh, but, no, 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 no. Is that the same person? No. no. But Biz Marquis can beat, Biz, it, it is Biz, dude. Biz, he can beat, beatbox nah, like crazy, dude, there too. There was some famous fucking New York. <laughs> there was some famous uh, New York dude, man, <laughs> from, because uh, I remember from, he came out and paid him full. I just forget his fucking name. I don't remember, dude. But he's like a famous beatboxer, dude. He's pretty sick. Huh. But anyway. Nonetheless. <laughs> um, if uh, th this right here, we, we got to give it to him, okay? Because things are still coming out. People still may be behind. Uh, mm -hmm. Spoiler alert. Give them a few seconds before we start talking. I think Spoiler there's plenty, alert. I think there's plenty of time. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. You guys ready? Which, by the way, the timestamps are in the description on YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube and you've never gone down to the description, click it, uh, open it up, uh, and drops it down, and you can see that there's timestamps everywhere. So you can click to see, like, you know, something. For instance, like right, right now, we're about to talk about The Mandalorian, and there may be some spoilers. Maybe you don't want to see it, so you can skip ahead to the next topic, mm -hmm. and you won't be spoiled. spoiled. And then you can come back later when you watch it and be like, guess what, guys? Oh, now it makes sense. I finally watched it. <laughs> you can do stuff like that. So they want to cancel Baby Yoda, dude. I think I'm gonna cancel you, dude. They want to cancel Baby Yoda. They want to cancel everything. I hate this cancel culture. Talk about toxicity, right? We talk about toxicity and toxic this and toxic that all the time. The Toxic Avenger. Do you remember that, by the way? Mm, who is that? Oh man, to I'm gonna throw uh, a picture up on the screen. <laughs> And everyone can see the Toxic Avenger. If you guys don't know, I believe that was Troma, who also did Cannibal, the musical from the creators of South Park. Oh my God, amazing! Um, I don't have a picture in front of us right now. I won't waste the time, but we'll look it up later. Um, toxicity and stuff like that, dude. Cancel culture is so toxic because it's not. Uh, what's the way I want to? I want to say this. My opinion. These are my opinions, by the way. Since we're talking about cancel culture, watch us come and somebody went. I'm gonna fucking cancel these guys. Um, I think cancel culture sucks because to me it's like a to bunch of extent. a bunch of babies just crying about the fact that they can't get their way and crying when something offends them or they don't agree with something and then they just go hard and hard 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 just <clears throat> super hard on a situation they try to ruin everything so they want to cancel baby Yoda because give you a brief little thing for people that want to hear about it in chapter ten uh, by the time. This comes out. There'll already be another episode yeah, of so the Mando out. Yeah, so it'll be a little. It'll be. It'll be some time. You know, in chapter ten of the Mandalorian, uh, the Mando, uh, Ma Mando, Mandalorian, and the child, they meet uh, the Frog Lady, mm -hmm. and uh, the Frog Lady has unfertilized eggs. By the way, that's a key word there, and uh, she needs to get them to her husband, who's on another planet. So she teams up with Mando and offers him something in in return. I don't remember. Uh, uh, she, something. What, what, did she it, offer what it was is this information, was or information on how to find more Mandalorians. And I think that's what it was. Yeah. Technically, even the Mandalorians that he found weren't really Mandalorians. Weren't really, yeah, weren't technically Mandalorians. Yeah. Uh, 
and uh, she has to go to another planet to find her husband so he can fertilize the eggs. So she travels with Mando in order to do so. And uh, throughout the episode, she has the, uh, the eggs. If you're watching this episode right now, I'll be able to explain it better because I'll be able to showcase yeah. it. Uh, she has her eggs in this Some like type fish silo, tank like, type like yeah. canister, big backpack mm-hmm. type thing with liquid in it. And the eggs are in there yeah. and they're unfertilized. And uh, throughout the entire episode, throughout the entirety of the episode, mm-hmm. several times, Baby Yoda himself goes and he's eating the eggs. He's yeah. eating the eggs. They taste so fucking good. What do they taste like? Maybe bull testicles. Who knows? Um, Rock them out to and, uh, buddy. Yeah, that might be a thing that we're actually going to be uh, no taste reverse. testing, I guess. This whole one chip I'm challenge not, thing that gonna, we did. I'm not going to baby Yoda some oh, Rocky man, Mountain dude. oysters. That's what it might. We're going to have to do that. We're going to have to put him in a thing. We're going to have to act it all out, dude. Like, we're yeah. like, baby like Yoda. That'll be my cosplay. Like, hey. <laughs> um. So people are freaking I think out you'd about be the this. The first bearded Baby Yoda. I would be. Yes, I would be. I'd be a cross of like what Baby Yoda would be like years and later in the future yeah. when he grew his beard. But then also because I'm small, I'm kind of tiny uh, in kinda stature. Like a reverse uh-huh. Benjamin Button or something like that. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. Uh, people are freaking out about him eating the eggs. Long story short, I knew we drew this. We drew this explanation on so fucking long. Sorry, guys. I know if you you're a regular, if you know. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, he goes in and he's constantly eating the fucking eggs and people are freaking out claiming that it's too dark uh-huh. and it's unnerving and okay. it's genocide, which real quick to the people that are where, freaking where, out about where? genocide, please Google the definition of genocide first, mm-hmm. please. Hold on, I got to fix this. Keep going. I know what it was trying. I know what they're trying to say in a sense that he's like, a, it's not genocide, but he's essentially taking life before it even gets his chance to to grow and to get out there and, and be yeah. other little fishes or whatever type of species uh, they are, right? The frog lady species. Yeah, yeah but um, they're unfertilized. So I, I, I get that, but in some sense of the in fact, it's still an egg. It's still something that needs to be brought to life or whatever. I understand that part. Um, what they don't... <laughs> My bad, I'm trying to fix... My bad, I'm totally trying to fix something. Well, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll, we'll cut this for you. Sorry about that, guys. I was trying to fix something behind the, the camera and... I- didn't want it to get all messed up. But yeah, no, I mean, people are freaking out, claiming that it's genocide. You need to Google what the definition of genocide is. And, and like, it's supposed to be, well, speaking about genocide, genocide is exactly what Thanos did. And nobody yeah. freaked out. Yeah, well, they did nobody freak out. Nobody freaked out. They did freak out. But they, they weren't trying to cancel him, They didn't want to cancel yeah. Marvel. They didn't want to cancel Thanos. They didn't want to cancel the Avengers. Nobody freaked out about it. It wasn't anything like this. I feel like people just get bored and need something to complain about. Mm-hmm. And especially during these times where everybody's cooped up in the house more often than not. I think you guys just get bored and you just need to... You just need to... You know what I think it is? Go work out. You guys need to exercise more, okay? To keep your mind off things. You need to exercise yeah. more. I mean, I, man, I, you know I meant to I, cut my hair. I didn't get a chance to do that. So I was just noticing it in the camera. You know what I think it is? Is uh, they essentially took away his innocence, right? Because he was supposed to be like this cute little thing. Is yeah, but riding around. I mean, technically, he did some shit or whatever already. But he's never. Yeah, done why aren't you mad about that, any he, of the other things that he, he did? never did? He's anything, helped kill people. He's never did anything as a baby. Vile, I guess. But it's not, say. dude. That's what I know, kids I know. do. But they that's, swallow unfertilized eggs, dude. Babies will put anything in their mouths, dude. Yeah. Babies will put anything in their mouths, let alone they just eat and eat and eat all Especially day. Especially when they're it's told actually not to do pretty something, fucking then relatable. I think when he when uh, when he was told like when Mando told him no, don't do that or whatever, mm-hmm. and then he's still like, yeah, he did anyway. And then and, I think and then Frog we, Lady started noticing too because there's a couple times where I don't think when, she did. When you see the episode, there's a I, couple I times it. that she did this right. No, she's just looking at her eggs. I don't think she noticed because... And how he, would you that, not that notice time, if, you, if, that t- if they were so important Yeah, usually, to, like, they count them. They know. Yeah. Like, a, a mother, an animal mother knows, a per- vegan yeah. thing, whatever, whatever. Um, but there, even that time when, when Mando brings uh, Baby Yoda in when to take to, for uh, them, to, for the frog people to yeah. take care of him while he goes on a mission real quick, and he's like, a behave, and you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. When he says it, you know? He wanted the little um, chicken nuggies. That to me, it's like it's supposed to be comedic and mm-hmm. and in a sense relatable because that's what kids do. Yeah, they don't listen. They don't know. They don't understand. They don't know any better. They are learning, and it's on the parent or the parent figure to teach them. I don't even know why. I feel like this is such a stupid conversation that we're even having this conversation right now. I feel like I should go over a little bit more, make it a little bit more even. Hi, hi. Welcome to the Channel Ten News. Um, I feel like it's just a. This is like a regular. Th- I feel like this is so dumb to have to explain it. And then how you know how many other how much other violence is in Star Wars to begin with? 
you know, and like no one's trying to cancel anything else. How um, come nobody canceled Luke when he? Uh... How come nobody canceled anything? Killed everybody. When uh, you mean Anakin? Anakin, my when bad. he killed Anakin, all the kids? Yeah. No, I think back then people were a little. <laughs> oh, it upset. was acceptable. <laughs> no, back then it was acceptable. You could just you know murder children all day long, and it's fine as long as you're in Star Wars universe. Um, I think, I think back then. Uh, maybe some people were bothered by it, but mm. I don't think we were as sensitive as we are now. And one, we didn't have the social media aspect of things to where everyone's voice was heard that much more easy, easily to where it's, a, you know, a groups of people and stuff. And yeah, it's also like it, but people But to put it in retrospect, things, right? Like mm-hmm. even for this generation now that's just starting to catch up and learn about this kind of stuff and, and, and I've get seen into them the Star Wars that. series. Well, yeah, but see, that's my point. Though. This like, generation this, now, I've yeah. seen them upset about the past of Anakin killing kids. Yeah. Back crazy. then, I think it has to do with it. It is. It does but have to do with worse, the times. But though, that's too. what I'm saying. Is it worse that it's a a, a child essentially that was swallowing? Yeah, they're unfertilized, un, unfertilized eggs that aren't even babies yet. I, I mean, <laughs> or, I, I mean, it, it got. Was it it's, worse that Anakin it's so killed much of everybody? A, you know I know. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, it, you guys should be uh, going crazy about Thanos and the genocide. Then you guys should be going crazy about Anakin in the past. Uh, mm-hmm. You probably just shouldn't even watch Star Wars because they kill people left and right and do crazy yeah. murderous things. Yeah, uh, they just Dark don't Maul, show dude. it in like horror style ways because it is owned by Disney, mm-hmm. but it's implied and certain things are showed. I don't feel like this is any fucking different for you. Which, to complain by the about. way, I think we've had this conversation multiple times over and multiple it's a show. over multiple episodes. Uh, about Disney in general, yeah, Disney it's has dark. always dark been dark, and Their a very original racist stories too. have always yeah. been very sexual and dark. Yeah, and they had fucking that. penises in the sky. Yeah, and like uh, a nude woman with her breasticles yeah. in a, in a was window. That, that, what I movie think that was one that? was in Little Mermaid, right? In the original, Little the Lion Mermaid, King was the yeah. was the dick, I think, right? Yeah, but there was a the, was the Little Mermaid. I think it was. I think it was the Little Mermaid, the original one before it ever got remastered. The oh, first VHS, the, 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 the castle or something castles? has yeah. a. It's a clear dick, dude. It's a clear obrajo. It's a clear just you know. Yeah. Rocky Mountain. <laughs> Not the hard oyster on. parts though. Um. <laughs> It got so much, uh, this whole fucking Mandalorian thing got so much, uh, so much heat that Phil, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name correctly, but the, uh, Sostak, Sostak maybe probably, Sostak, Phil Sostak, the senior content and asset specialist at Lucasfilm. Uh, he even addressed it in a tweet. And I'm throwing it up on the screen while we're reading it. For the record, chapter 10 of The Mandalorian makes it clear that the frog lady's eggs are unfertilized, like the chicken eggs many of us enjoy. Mmm, face. Uh, but obviously, chickens aren't sentient beings, and the child eating the eggs is intentionally disturbing for comedic effect. I nailed it. Exactly what I said. Sentient beings, though. Mm-hmm. Um, are chickens sentient beings? Look that up real quick. Little little Google fact for you. Sentient. Right now. We're gonna go down a little. little let's see. Hole. First of all, sentient, able to perceive or feel things. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty fucking sure chickens, chickens. can feel. <laughs> I'm pretty fucking sure they're able to perceive. You're not helping the can- you're you're helping the cancel people out right now. Yeah. Okay, Phil. I mean, I agree with everything Phil said, except, except for the for chickens aren't sentient beings. I think chickens chickens are, dude. But the fact that you even have to explain yourself about a show yeah, exactly. where it's supposed to be creative, where you're supposed to be an artist, where many generations have enjoyed it, and now in this culture, in this society, in this time now, now it's an issue. Now yeah, we can complain about it. It's the world it, like, that we live in. Get out By of the here, way, man. I Googled it. All poultry species are sentient vertebrates, and all the available evidence shows that they have a very similar range of feelings as mammal- mamma- mammalian, 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce mammalian. that, forgive me, species. Uh, poultry can suffer by feeling pain, fear, and stress. Which is pretty kind of obvious. Like any yeah. anything living can feel, can feel in a sense, right? Yeah, you but I think I, mean? I think the whole point, for is, lack of better scientific I think, words, I, I think the whole point is that yeah, the whole eggs, point is that he's he's defending the show right? that it one, it's a fucking show, and the eggs are unfucking fertilized. R- regardless of his mistake of that chicken chickens aren't sentient beings, ignore that. That was a mistake on his part. I'm sure he's. It's just that. It literally was just a mistake as far as the chicken thinks. You know how people go. This, now they're gonna. Pro- they're came, probably tearing into him about that chicken thing if, too. If this if this came from 
concerned parents about their kids watching this show. Oh my you guys, god! You guys should be on the lookout for a lot <laughs> yeah. more other stuff. Yeah, that you guys exactly. Be doing. There's so much more yeah. to worry about. But I don't know. Yeah. I think this is really dumb. I don't agree with it at that's, all. That's honestly one way I could see that coming from, like a concerned parent or somebody. Yeah. Walked in on their kid watching The Mandalorian, which yeah. is like you should be happy about. Like it could be watching other. It could Momo be that. Shit it's all, it, it, honest all to God, that, dude. It could also just be like uh, not to shit on this generation of people mm. growing up in this world currently, but I'm gonna shit on this generation of people growing up in this world currently. Oh, no. And everybody is really sensitive and uh, just like bored is what I look at. You guys are bored, sensitive, and have nothing to do and are worrying about the dumbest things. You're worried about Baby Yoda, a show based in the Star Wars universe, The Mandalorian, a fucking show where a child alien, I guess you could say in a sense, is eating unfertilized eggs. You know what? Don't watch any nature shows either, okay? Because nature shows... Lions yeah, are out dude, here killing their some, own. They're killing other. Stuff. Yeah, they're killing other lions, uh, babies in order to be top of the line. Uh, as far and it's as also, and it was also, if I'm not mistaken, I forget, I forget what. Um, I don't, I don't know if it's lions, but snakes they'll, eat they'll, other snakes. They'll eggs. kill. They'll kill like if they know that that's not their kid. Yeah, that's what I mean. Kill it to they'll stop kill the lineage. Yeah. A lot of them do that. that. A lot of animals do that. that. Yeah, a lot of animals. I think even gorillas will beat the shit out of their uh, another one's youngs and kill yeah. them and like so many animals do it you guys like you should be in an uproar about fucking everything if that's the case yeah, i think it's so fucking dumb dude but <laughs> it is what it is i actually curious what do you guys think about this because baby man uh baby mando baby mando ba- baby yoda and baby the mandalorian mando. is such a beloved show i'm not gonna spend any more time on this this is fucking ridiculous you guys should be mad at, at fucking everything with that being said let's get into this week's, this week's cosplay of the week, uh, I don't know why I was my lips there. Uh, which is kind of fitting, actually. I was making a joke, but if you be real for a minute, it's actually fitting with the cosplay that we're about to throw up on the screen, and I'm going to do it right now. <clears throat> and this cosplay is bootleg, bootleg Stark. Stark. One word spelled exactly how it sounds on Instagram, and it is of. Magneto. Magneto. We did a Magneto a couple weeks ago, but it was the all new Marvel one. The uh, I can't remember the, he the, was the name. White, it was the white one. White, where, yeah. yeah, it was that. It was that storyline. Uh, this is the more so regular Magneto, and this is Magneto. phenomenal, dude. This is like this is legitimately mm-hmm. phenomenal. From the helmet is perfect. I love the eyes, dude. dude. Oh, the eyes. Um, I wonder, are your eyes bootleg Stark? Stark. Stark is dark. Um, is it like an LED type situation, or is it, it is. contacts with Photoshop? I'm gonna guess. It's an LED. The first thing, yeah, I it's gonna be it's some LED. sort of light up. One hundred percent. Part of the helmet. Ah, I can't zoom in on this on the way that I have it. I forgot. Mm. But it looks like he's got some sort of um, mask on, right? So where you yeah. can't see his face. That probably helps with the illumination of the LED and, and all that stuff. And it also to helps it with uh, uh, making, uh, making the look. making the helmet not helmet, but. Making the inside of the helmet kind of look empty with just the yeah, eyes. like stay, st- yeah. stand out more. It's just fitting. It's dark. It's a, you know, it, it's I love it, dude. But the helmet is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, really phenomenal job on the helmet, dude. Alone, like whoever did the helmet, whether you did it or somebody else did it, or the entire suit. We do. We are gonna get into that. We do know who the suit was made by, and who is, we'll find out maybe later when this uh, goes up as a promo mm-hmm. clip or something. If those people made the entire suit or just parts just of it or whatever, suit, yeah, yeah, it doesn't specify. Um, the gloves. I dig the gloves. It looks like yeah. it goes. Um, it does. It goes. Looks like it goes about. It extends about all the way forearm up forearm length, oh, right? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, almost to the elbow, but not mm-hmm. not quite. A little bit, a couple inches under the elbow. Um, I dig it. I like the uh, muscle suit type of situation. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. You see a little bit of the abs, but it's not yeah. overdone. Yeah, it's not overdone abs. And then you see the pecs. Um, uh, pecking it out. Mm, stretch it. Mm, stretch it. Thing, mm. He has a thing yeah. about mm, uh, big yeah. pecs. How much can you bench, bro? How much can you bench? Yeah. But with Magneto, he probably just. With, you know yeah, what I mean? Just, just lay mind. back. He doesn't actually have to hold it. He's just... Eh, well, eh. see, I would... I would you know what I'm saying? Know, I'd be smart. Like, if I was Magneto... Strengthening his mind, Yeah, and I'll just, I'll just... No, I'll keep my hands on it, even though I know it's yeah. not... And just use it with my mind. I'll just be like this. <laughs> he works out sometimes, and he does it for real. And then other times, he just kind of lays there, and he uh, strengthens his mind. He's like... Yeah. <sighs> <gasps> like that, and it's working out. Your mind, mind is one of your biggest muscles. Like if you know? nobody knew that I was Magneto and I had Magneto's powers, like I would just enter all kind of powerlifting competitions, and I'll just oh yeah, dude, just <laughs> win all kinds of stuff. Give me my money, give me my money, give me some sponsorships. Um, I like I like right around the neck, uh, the the piece that goes around the neck here, chest piece. The no, no well that would be the chest piece. Yeah. 
but the neck the neck piece that that is um, I'm Ties assuming probably cape. tying into the cape, which yeah. is holding the cape. Perfect. Absolutely perfect, dude. I like the belt and everything. It's simplistic and it gets the point across as a little feature. So it's not just like the whole suit with nothing yeah. there. I dig it, man. And the uh, picture was taken by Hit Geek, with it. Geek Strong. Geek Strong on Instagram. Geek Strong on Instagram. And the suit was by uh, Napers, maybe? Napers <laughs> underscore ink. And it's spelled just how it sounds. Yeah. And that's ink with a C, not ink like pen ink incorporated. Yeah. Um, so back. To well, I'm going to spell I want to spell it for people just okay. in case. It's N A P I E R S underscore ink. ink, I N C for the suit. Shout out, hey man, that photography work as well. Like, yes. That, when, that's what I love. That's another thing that I love about like these cosplays yeah. is, is the locations that they choose sometimes. Yes. It's just so like Rebirth fitting. location last week was yeah. a very very perfect location and this one is just uh, fitting so for Red fitting, Hood. Dude. Like, it is. It the reminds me of, it. of something that would happen in an yeah. X-Men film. Like yeah. somewhere that they would be in public. About and they, to fight. And yeah, they meet like, up with Magneto or something, yeah. you know, depending on the timeline of where you're at, if he's battling the X-Men or if he's uh, with the X-Men standing up for the mutants and things like that. Who knows? But this is a perfect, perfect setting for Magneto. The suit is amazing. The eyes are clearly the standout thing here mm -hmm. alongside many other things. But of course, the with eyes the pop out. Yeah. Uh, phenomenal job, dude. Phenomenal job, bootleg, bootleg Stark. Phenomenal job with the uh, photo Geek Strong and phenomenal yeah. job with the suit. Uh, you guys go check him out, Bootleg Stark on Instagram. He has all kinds of other things as well, aside from just Magneto, and it's absolutely amazing. And like I just said, Bootleg Stark, your cosplay of the week is amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh you're feeling a little parched? Just had to move it on, you know? Just had to... Right in between the cosplay, and that's like a that's like the breaker point, you know. That's like the breaker point. Moving into uh, some other things, we did the cosplay right away because we're gonna get into some Marvel talk, dude. And uh, Marvel fans, we're just gonna just gonna say, just gonna put it right out there, just put it right out there, real quick. Marvel fans won't get to see Vision's penis in WandaVision, in case anybody was wondering. I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know anybody was extremely worried about seeing uh, Vision's penis. What, is anybody, what? I don't know. I don't know where this came from, but I've been Read seeing that again. it. Uh, Marvel fans won't get to see Vision's penis in WandaVision. Yeah, like, that, that is a literal I, I headline think, that I saw. I think you're trying to watch the wrong type of Yeah, uh, somebody's on Pornhub looking for WandaVision. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Then I, and they stumbled upon something else. Vision and they, somebody got it confused. Wanda, yeah. yeah. Uh, just, <laughs> um, what are we doing? Where are the Avengers? Um, you know, she doesn't Jesus know Christ. she doesn't know what's going on, man. She's like, where's Stark? Where did he go? Tony Stark, not Bootleg Stark. I mean, mm -hmm. unless you want to. Are you in there? Are you in there, Bootleg? Who knows? Uh, yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why this is a thing, but apparently this is a thing. And I've been seeing it going around on Instagram, and I thought it was a joke, but I've been seeing it more and more. And who knows? Maybe it is a joke, and it turned into a real thing. Yeah. You know how that happens? I have no idea. But I'm assuming this came from the fact that uh, it did probably come from actual legitimate uh, reasoning behind it. That uh, uh, it's a Wanda... fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, Wanda and um, and Vision they have kids during this show, which is Speed and Wiccan, which we've talked about before, and uh, they're probably wondering how that happens, being that he is basically a uh, uh, I don't uh, want to say robot. What is he? What is the what is the term again? Oh man, I'm drawing AI. a blank. Artificial He's basically like an AI, I guess you could say. Yeah, um, I think there's another term for it, but I, I could be mistaken. No, it's um, artificial intelligence. That's but what he, is. he uh, he's an AI. There. But what else do they call? It? What like what was Ultron besides being an AI when he comes in and he's robotic? But there's another term. I swear to God, there's another term. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Um, it's probably it's probably stemming from that. People that don't understand, yeah. but it's in the comics and stuff too. I don't believe he actually even. I don't believe he even has a fucking cock. I don't think he has a. Cock. Yeah, how would that work? I don't know. Uh, I think what happens in the show, what's going to happen in the show is um, it's all in her mind. You know, she's able to do, you know, crazy things, dude. You know, I, I sorry. They, the kids even well, obviously the kids. The are kids real. are real because it happens in the comics. I don't. But they're his. I don't recall to be so honest with you. No, they are his. They are he's his. Even in the comics, they are his. Like, could we get some kind of there DNA? Is, I, like, I think do you, she do does you... it. She does it through her powers. God, we sound so dumb right now. We pride ourselves on knowing all this and. Mm. I'll be honest with you. I don't remember from those comics. I don't even remember if I read those comics as a kid. If you guys have been watching the show since a while back, you know that I used to be very, very big on the comics. I used to read them with my dad and everything, specifically a lot of X-Men and Spider-Man more than anything else. Um, excuse me. But I don't believe I ever read anything 
pertaining to Scarlet Witch and Vision, especially uh, how they had their kids. I don't recall that, but I do remember reading things briefly, and I believe she does it all. It's herself. gonna have it's gonna have to be something with his like if there's actually plus it's a Disney, way, you guys. No, yeah, no, no, no. But regardless of the point, uh, regardless either way, like if you want to somehow got his genetics, I don't see how because he's AI, he's an she artificial can do, intelligence. She can do it, but man. maybe because she of, like if he took out. whatever body he took, you she get can what do I'm it. She's like, mm, give me that dick. I don't have one. Mm, give me them semens. Give me them semens. That's how she says it. Usually it would probably be give me that semen, but no, because she's a little she's a little whacked out. So she's like, give me that semens. You know, give me. Oh mm, yeah. Uh, oh no, wrong place. My bad. I'm supposed to go here. Um. So yeah. I think I'm gonna quit this side yeah. project podcast. All right. Okay. Hey. <laughs> um. Anyway, WandaVision is coming out soon. I actually can't wait. Is it December? Do you remember? Fuck. Oh man, we should have had that. I don't remember. I'll look it up real quick. But WandaVision episode one uh, was filmed in front of a live studio audience and in, in black, black and, and white. white. Yeah, in black and white. Um, well, because it's because of the setting December, too, right? Yeah. December of this year. Yeah, comes out. It's because, up soon. Of the, it's because of the setting too, right? Because they yeah. go through different They go through different like eras different and phases. And, yeah, exactly. And I, I think it, this one's supposed to be kind of like a comedy. And I, I'm assuming it's obviously probably going to have a dark twist because she's probably gone psychotic from everything that's going on. And I can't wait to see that. I know some people are mixed feelings about it. I, I actually am really stoked for it. I think it's going to be a very different take on things, especially for Disney. And I think yeah. that's what the MCU needs right now. It needs something different. It needs a good direction. It needs too, a, though, a fresh because start. Because then, then you also got to think about like all the other phases that led up to this, and this yeah. is where we're at now, right? It needs a fresh it, start. Yeah, mm, fresh, fresh start. And what better way to start than getting vision, vision, visions? What better way to start than getting Venusians' penis? Um, rumors and speculation about what Marvel will do with Black Panther two are swirling around everywhere. And, uh, you know, ever since Chadwick passed away, mm. everyone's like, what are we What are we doing? What are we all doing since we're all involved? What are we doing with, um, with, Black, with Black Panther? Panther? Yeah. With the so, character all so, together, right? Yeah, exactly. Because it was such a strong, yeah, exactly. strong character. And they like, kind of just started, dude, that character. Yeah, no, that's, man, what, that's, sucks, what, that's, what, that's what honestly really sucked, man. Feels because like, bad, man. From when he took the mantle, obviously, yeah. when his dad died, he developed. That's, yeah. that's the worst T'Chaka. part. He just started developing as a character. Yeah, dude. As he a had soul. so much that was going to happen, yeah. dude. And, and they were talking about that. Like, we, it was rumors. We talked about it. Mm-hmm. Was, was there going to be a Wakanda versus uh, Atlantis? Was Namor mm-hmm. going to be coming in? And, then, and things like that, which is basically, the, we've discussed this before. If you don't know who Namor is, it's basically, uh, people like to say it like this, but it's actually it's, wrong. It's people like say Aquaman it's Marvel's too. version of Aquaman, but actually yeah. Namor was first, mm-hmm. and DC actually copied copied Marvel mm-hmm. with uh, Namor and Aquaman. So anyway, Oh, so a little that. Ray J. Kanye a little, situation right little, there. Little, yeah. mm, I hit, I hit it, it first. first. Well, how did that song actually go? <laughs> I hit it first. But how, what was the melody? Do you remember? No, I don't. I don't remember I never. Bu- I haven't listened to a Ray J. song since like that. That was, was savage, dude. Yeah. That was a savage moment. Um, <laughs> wasn't it like, I hit it, I hit it, I hit it first. I'm not doing the melody right. Wasn't it something like that, though? <laughs> anyway, some rumors were going around that Shuri, was, Shuri, 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 Shuri was going to be taking the mantle. Mm-hmm. Um, other rumors were that they were just going to recast uh, T'Challa. T'Challa? That's going to fucking suck T'Challa. because, like I said, anybody, anybody who's anybody and paid attention, yeah, pay attention with, uh, within the last 10 years or so, right? Yeah. Uh, of Marvel altogether, they know. I mean, we've seen some recasting or some changing around and stuff like Hulk. that. Bruce right banner yeah yeah so i mean it can't happen but the thing that sucked that the t- like he was just growing as a character yeah, he had just so starting, much potential man. he clearly uh he really started taking the rain back and and yeah and you could see his his progress and that's where that's where it kind of sucks like it really these is sad of, dude yeah not to just make hand. it about like god chadwick yeah. like black panther i mean it's sad that is a whole that no he, that how but, he passed and, and, and then and even passed and then even you know then I mean? as sucks. an actor his yeah, development was amazing yeah he was still even getting started even jackie more robinson, so yeah for that yeah, jackie robinson yeah, movie like everything that he yeah, was doing he was doing even more shit and had even more anyway you got you guys already know it's been some time you already know what would you want a recast or a way to just kind of end the character yeah i'm happy Somebody what else what do you mantle? guys want? Because like I said, rumors are going around. Shuri could be the next Black Panther. Uh, rumors of a recasting. Rumors that they're oddly just going to address it somehow off screen, that he died mm-hmm. off screen and not show it. Others are saying that there may be a CGI recasting, but, you know, such as like uh, what they did with the Fast uh, mm-hmm. Fast and Furious series with Paul Walker yeah. or what they did in Star Wars, like bringing it back to Star Wars, Carrie yeah. Fisher. Yeah. And uh, there was another guy in Star Wars that passed away too and they did a CGI thing on him as well. I can't remember his name though. Um, mm-hmm. But Marvel has ruled... Out the possibility of CGIing Chadwick back into the role. They're not going to be doing any uh, CGI for him. They further stated that they don't know exactly how they're going to move forward with it, and they have no plans 
uh, in the near future on just that exactly, which in a sense kind of contradicts the statement that just came out today, actually. As of this recording, Marvel announced, literally right before we started recording, they announced uh, Black Panther 2 is in production in the very, very beginning stages, but they've also uh, possibly cast a villain already as well. Mm. And I don't remember the, the guy's name. I'm so sorry. But there's a there's an maybe what I could see them doing no information on what the villain is essentially kind of the the, essentially kind of the easy way out to have somebody else take the either one take the mantle or recast would be like um, but see there was no signs that he had a kid we knew he had a love interest it would be it would be we knew he had a love interest but we we know we and 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 I think my my opinion on this also was that since Marvel has the uh, X Men back I think they were going to take the comic route and I think Storm was from the X-Men, mm-hmm. was going to make an appearance in uh, Black Panther or Black Panther 2 or maybe in an X-Men movie, Black Panther would make an appearance, who mm-hmm. knows? And they were gonna, going to become uh, love interests and then later down the line, boyfriend and girlfriend, maybe husband and wife, king yeah, and queen, because like, that's what I, happens I'm, in the comics. I'm thinking, I'm thinking from like a standpoint, right? Like where if they wanted to take it from where they have it at now, what mm-hmm. we have, the content that we have now, he had a love interest in, in Black Panther. Did he though? Who? Yeah, that chick, his ex or whatever, right? They, I don't, they I don't remember. Had, I honestly don't ex, remember. Dude, she uh, she started coming back. Uh, remember, they even made that joke of like, don't freeze or whatever. His sister made oh, a joke when he yeah. sees her, right? So yeah. technically he had a love interest. So could you say that maybe do like a flashback and then like his kid takes over? But he didn't, like uh, he didn't have... That's what I'm yeah. saying. So they can't, I think the best they can't bet really in, take that in, route. In my personal opinion, they have to address this situation. And I think the best way to address it... They have to address that he's dead. Yeah. As fucked up as it is, they have to. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's how they could introduce... Like, they could have some kind of flashback and introduce the villain coming in as I But then either him. way, if they're showing that, it's going to yeah. have to be CGI. It's going to have to be yeah. a CGI... No, uh, they could, they could come in from the story. Like, you know how... You know how there's been movies where they do stories of like yeah, for and example, they do a flashback of it. They do a flashback. That, but, of the but what I'm saying is, yeah, in order for them to show to, yeah, it, yeah, it has right. to be. They have to act it out and do yeah. it and film it. Therefore, it has to be a CGI. Yeah. <clears throat> Somebody you know, or never take stuff. off the helmet. Yeah, never take off the Black Panther mask ever. No, that's but what I'm they saying. have to so, show his face, dude. Yeah. They and have then, to show and, his face. And then at some point, they got to show him technically like in the afterlife because that's part of the ritual. Exactly. That's, that's part, part of, of it. culture. In my that. opinion, I think right now they're not saying anything because mm-hmm. it's still uh, too soon in a sense. Mm-hmm. I think the best way to do it is doing it in a very honorable way mm-hmm. and CGIing Chadwick into the role mm-hmm. and um, making, obviously, Which, you're going to have to have the character pass away somehow. And you're gonna have to figure introducing out introducing the villain that the villain fucked them up. You're gonna have somehow. to do something, but I don't think it's gonna be the whole movie. I don't think they're gonna CGI the whole movie with Chadwick. No, 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 no. Just it's gonna have to be a portion. But see, that's what I mean. It's gonna have to be a portion. And then how... what do you do from there, though? Who's taking over the role of the mantle of Black Panther? I think the best Shuri. option is Shuri. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's how, that's how they would Shuri. do that, right? Yeah. Homeboy comes in, they do a little CGI for uh, yeah. Chadwick. Yeah. Uh, they do some kind of battle scene where homeboy kills him, and now Shuri yeah. has to take that place because he's the one yeah. who's, who would which, be like next which in line still, or challenge uh, for the throne. Yeah, exactly. Which sense. still, and she's smart too. She's got the wits to do it, and she basically builds everything anyway. Yeah, and she's but, part of the lineage, though. Like, but now it's going to be a whole different story. It's going to kind of be like Spider Man learning again, that type of concept. She's going to learn. She's not ready. Shuri, though, she's was smart very, as hell. But Shuri, though, she's that's, not ready, though. So that's, that's in okay. my opinion. But it's going to be another learning process, which sucks because. Uh, T'Challa just started his learning process. Yeah, but then if just you think took about over it, she was she's she's more advanced in the sense that she had the mentally. technical mentally and yeah. the techno uh, techno yeah. tech tech. Oh, technological technological aspects of, aspects things. Yeah, of it yeah, so yeah. she could even put that into play where she already yeah. knew how to fight but I don't think I think story wise I'm thinking she doesn't have the confidence yet maturity she's more of the and the maturity she's yeah. young but I mean they're also Wakandans are very very mature they're different but, but I'm just I'm saying, saying to take on threats like yeah. what they're doing, I don't think she's there yet, in my opinion. And also to lead a whole, a yeah, whole, to lead the whole, yeah, you know what I mean, or whatever the tribe or yeah, tribe, however yeah. you want to say. It. I just don't think it's ready, and it sucks because it's forced. It's mm-hmm. gonna, unfortunately, this is all going to be forced because they have to make a decision because Black Panther as a whole plays a part in the entire um, situation and storyline and everything of what they're Man, doing moving you know forward. Also sucks too, depending on how bad this this does, because like, there's a possibility that it does bad, right? I don't think but, it will. I don't think it was. There's too much Black, hype behind it, there's and they poss- could—they're going to be bringing in other Avengers and everything. Yeah, too. but they're like, if if you think about it, if they fuck this up, 
right? And mm-hmm. they've they've had a track record of fucking things up. But if this gets messed up, like where is not that going to not, not where, where is Black Panther going to play a role now? Like how is that going to lead that's, into that's that? That's what I'm saying. There's so much that they have everything? to fix. I think the best way to go about it though is to show the death as sad as it's going to be mm-hmm. and as fucked as it's going to be for real life to mm-hmm. reopen those wounds. Yeah. I think oh, it sounds so bad when you word it like this, but for the sake of the story, Mm -hmm. for the sake of the Marvel universe and everything that they've created, because uh, aside from unfortunate, God, it sounds so bad no matter how you put it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because you're talking about somebody's life here, Mm -hmm. but you've also created something for 11 years, 12 years, you know, Mm -hmm. you have to address it. You have to address it. You're going to have to show it. And honestly, in my opinion, and then we could do another Maybe we'll do a poll, a poll yeah. right here. Yeah, this ran um, on so long, but it, I actually really feel for this because Black Panther was one of my favorite characters, dude. Yeah, and then not even that though, like just just the the culture and how, how everything kind of tied into everything, and then how they helped uh, yeah. Winter Soldier come, you know, come yes, back with his exactly. arm. Yes, exactly. There's so much they going brought on him there, back. dude. He was so involved in yes. the in the MCU, right? Yeah. Um, you can't just. <clears throat> I think, it away it's more, like it's I think it's more disrespectful to recast somebody and not even bring it up and act yes. as if, hey, I agree. this is Black Panther and I agree. continue on the story. You got to honor T'Challa in, yeah. in the in, in the storyline. Mm-hmm. And then you also have to honor Chadwick's commitment to the or, role and his or, amazing job with the role. Or a, another route that I could see them taking it is where they already have him in the afterlife and have this new character take over, like whatever. But they casting. still have to address I, it, man. I, I know. Have, I get what I you're know. saying. But I think, my opinion, they they have to address it, bro. They yeah. have to show it on screen. So anyway, sorry. I know that ran on, but we're act- you can tell we're actually passionate about the Black Panther thing. Um, but we're going to get the fuck out of here. But before we do, um, Marvel announced today, too, right before this recording, Deadpool 3, officially in the works. Yeah, and, which they put uh, in the... expected with- <laughs> to still be rated R. Yes, and thank yeah. God. Dude, but key word clap? here. Golf clap? Key- golf clap. And a little bit, oh, no, a, no, no, a no, little should, ASMR no, no, no. pleasure. We what? should hit him with the with the oh, poetry. Oh, we gotta, we gotta be careful. You don't wanna, you don't wanna, you don't wanna. Uh, no, isn't it like this? Isn't it like? Yeah. yeah. And I'm gonna hit him with a little bit of ASMR too. A little bit of ASMR. You ready? Oh uh, yeah. I think that was too much. Uh. <laughs> 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 Expected is the key word here, though, dude. Expected to be rated R. Mm-hmm. That's the key word. Mm-hmm. Expected. So if later down the line something happens and Disney, uh, you know, recants on their situation mm-hmm. with their their stance on the rated R stuff, they can say, "Well, we never said it was definite." Official. Yeah, exactly. And it's all stated. Ryan Reynolds himself is going to. Uh, they're giving him creative control. So I still think he's still going to be pushed around. By well, Disney, actually, though. it doesn't technically say that. What what it said is that he will have it's a heavy hand in the creative process. So he doesn't technically get creative control remember like that, Fox remember gave. That, remember that uh, that meme that was going around? Oh, are you teasing me? Yeah. <laughs> or, or the other one with that guy where he's like, oh, yeah. that's oh, another one that too. One. Hmm? Who was that? Yeah, I, I forgot I what movie remember. that was from, man. I don't fucking remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. Yeah, that was good ASMR right there. Did you hear that? Look. Little oh, neck pop. Wait, get it again. I don't think I no? can. Oh, here, no, I got one. It. Watch. Let's try to get this. Here, ready? Let's see if I can get it. Here, I'm going to put it right. Put it right. No, I don't know. Here, just leave it right here. Ready? Let's see. Ooh. Ooh damn, that one's not. That I wonder one's... if the mic is actually catching. We can hear it, but I wonder if it's going to catch it. Here, wait. Are we, are we quiet? Oh, I ruined oh, that yeah. one because I hit the headphones. God damn it! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you know what would solve this headphone issue? Is having uh-huh. those, like, uh, Joe Rogan boom mic. Oh no, you still oh. need to have these, right? Yeah, we still need to have headphones yeah. though. Yeah. yeah. We are gonna get a new mic soon. Or we can switch to Bluetooth. <laughs> Bluetooth ones. I don't like those because then you gotta like if they have batteries and the battery runs yeah, out, yeah, just yeah, yeah. I just keep it like this, dude, you know? Just keep it like this, man. Don't be fucking with it, man. Just keep it like this. Just keep it like this, man. Good stuff. Give me them Siemens. All right. Anyway, let us know, you guys. Uh gentlemen. how 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 stoked are you on um no longer Confirm see uh, seeing Vision's penis. Yeah, that's the takeaway from today's. Uh, that's today's message. That's the moral of today's episode. Is uh, how, were you stoked on Vision's penis? Because now it's deconfirmed. You will not be able to see that android cock. Um, thank you for for light for no. Let me try it again. Wait, Ryan, it back. Fucked up. Oh, it's only the second time I've ever fucked up. Thank you for watching, for liking, for commenting, for sharing, for doing all of those things that you do on you tube.com slash side project podcast when you go down you hit that big red button that says subscribe i want to see how you change it and when you hit it it goes oh vision's penis i don't know why so maybe that might actually detour people from subscribing to us 
yeah, thank that you. That might just that might make people go, yep, yeah, well, this is where I shut it off and don't watch the rest. Mm-hmm. Thank you guys for listening on Apple, on Google, on Spotify, and all of those things that you do when you like and you review and you rate and you do all those things. Uh, if you're looking for juice, you can find him at L- Is it Captain? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cap- <laughs> had a little amnesia there. A little, uh, 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 little selective memory. Uh, Captain underscore juice box. And if you're looking for me, you can find me at IG hates Chazzy. If you're looking for us as a whole, the duo, the magnificent. Oh, mm. nipples like AK bullets. You can find us at Side Project Podcast. Okay. Hit him with the pistols, man. <laughs> Thank you.